Well, hello everybody. Uh, missed the blurry cam time. Uh, I figured that I would show this uh, where I'm at with this. This is the uh, second coming of this particular project. Um, and I actually sat, uh, I sat down and I rewrote just about every stitch of code in this thing. And uh, got a lot of uh, a lot of improvements out of it, and uh, a lot more features, and so on and so forth. Uh, and I even fixed the Roger beep, so uh, you know that's that's what the speaker's there for. So this is what I've got. Um, pretty much, uh, if I was to start with a blank um, a blank EEPROM, so we'll just reset that and wait for it to wipe it. Okay, so. Now it's it doesn't know what PLL it's going to control, so obviously we have to tell it that. And we just turn the encoder until we get to the one that we want. So let's say uh, we wanted that particular uh, version of the 8719, because that's, uh, that's the crystal frequency. You could have either that one, or you can have that one. Or we could have the 858. I haven't put the uh, 145, 106 code in this, uh, not yet. So I've just done these uh, done these three. Um, so let's say we want that one. We just push the button to confirm, and now we have a, a frequency counter offset um, to uh, calibrate the counter that actually is going to be in this microcontroller that I haven't even started to build yet. So um, you know we'll just give it any arbitrary value. It doesn't matter, uh, and then it just takes us somewhere because it's not really set. To, uh, setting uh, defaults quite right yet. Minor problems. So we've got a status display. It says it's receiving. Um, I've got a button over here that simulates uh, transmitting because this does monitor the transmit of the radio. Uh, obviously for the Roger beep. So the three uh, attack switches we have here, this one uh, is like the factory reset. You push it, it's going to wipe the EEPROM and uh, reset the microcontroller. The one in the middle is going to is the uh, radio sim simulates uh, transmitting on the radio, and this one's just a plain reset button. That's all. Uh, no muss, no fuss there. So um, this is one of the new encoders. Um, I just have it hard coded to go to channel one. I haven't uh, put in all of the menus yet. Um, the uh, the long press of the button currently just toggles the Roger beep. Um, that's going to be a menu. Um, I have to put the menus all back in, so if I just hold this down, it'll toggle the uh, Roger Beep. Now it says that in the display. And if I push the transmit button on here, or what would simulate the tra uh, transmitting, um, it's going to play the uh, the Roger Beep when you let it go. Obviously, it doesn't play it when uh, when the radio is uh, transmitting. You know, it waits till uh, you release it before it plays it, and it holds the uh, transmit line, which uh, I don't. Ha I need to like hook an LED up to it so that I can see what it's doing. I pretty much just uh, stuffing a multimeter on the pin just so that I could see that it's um, uh, it's holding a high uh, to hold the um, uh, the transmit because it's going to be it's going to be switched through a transistor. It's not going to be um, uh, the uh, microcontroller is it going to uh, be used to hold that line down. So I just use a uh, an NPN transistor to hold the line down. So anyway, it might be loud. It's actually pretty loud. So uh, you know, I'm going to forewarn or forewarn everybody that uh, the Roger beep is, um, is it might be loud. So uh, you know, turn the uh, volume down a little bit, maybe. Uh, have to work out the um, uh, the audio level on this. Anyway, it's just me me fooling around. It's just it just plays a whole bunch of tones. Um, I pretty much uh, you know wrote up a quick um, uh, a quick library to do uh, to PWM some some noise out of this. So um, you know it's uh, it's just a test uh, sort of a melody at the moment. It's just anyway. So here we go. So as you can see, it says transmit. So that's like uh, holding the microphone or, you know, and talking. So when I release it, it will play the tone, keep the radio transmitting. You'll see the display will say transmit all the time that it's playing the tone, and then it will release it. So there you go. Um, and that was the tone that I have programmed into it, just a series of tones. So, uh, you know, and the idea is to make it programmable. So, you know, you can... 
make whatever tone you want up out of the thing so anyways that's the uh, second revision of this particular thing um, I know that uh, a lot of people are interested in this they really are so um, this is uh, obviously with a new microcontroller and uh, a lot of the new um, the new abilities are really because of the microcontroller swap um, I can um, I can monitor a lot more because I've actually I mean it's I've got a whole nother port worth of pins to play with so um, you know I can I can do a whole bunch of stuff still gonna keep the shift registers because that um, uh, still allows me to have uh, more pins and stuff because if I did, if I didn't use the shift registers I'd, I'd have to use 10 pins out of this and um, you know there that's gonna take a bunch of IO still out of the microcontroller so Shift registers are going to stay. Besides, they're only the things only cost like thirty cents a piece. It's like not like it's an expensive um, proposition. Yeah, it's more uh, more parts, but uh, you know it's only two shift registers. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Um, got our little noise going and uh, everything else. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much where I'm at with this. Um, we'll. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I uh, progress and get the menus and whatnot going uh, back in this like I had in the other one. I don't even think I showed all the menus I had in the other one, so um, this one's going to have better menus anyway. So, anyways, I'll um, I'll uh, whack up another video as soon as I finish writing up the menus and all that good stuff. So, uh, take care, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.